Alright, today I'm going to show you how to remove and install freeze plug. So, let me get my tools here. This freeze plug right here needs to come out. I'm going to put a new one in there. Um, now the important thing is to make sure that you want uh, a new freeze plug there. I know that I have three on each side. And I have lots of extra freeze plugs, or well, I think the right amount for this engine, so I can I can go right into it. So right here, you want to hit one side because you want this to kind of spin like this. So you're just going to... Actually, before we do that, let's put a little bit of lubrication on there. Let me go get my... and I'll put it on there uh, in just a minute. Alright, uh... Now let's hit this again. Uh, got a little lube on there. Now I'm going to hit one side so it just spins. Hmm, that's in there pretty good. I'm going to try up on this ridge here. some pliers. Uh, let me grab some. Grab that. Well, oh, that's not good. And that freeze plug is out of there. Guess it needs to see down there. All right, so uh, now that it's out, uh, the next thing is you want to take some sandpaper and clean that up. So I'll show that in just a second. Now usually I'd use some pretty soft sandpaper, but for this one that's all dirty, I mean it just has stuff sitting there. I'm actually start by just wiping it, and then I'm gonna hit it with some pretty pretty. Uh, this is like 220 grit. I mean this is pretty hard stuff. And you don't want to, you I mean, you're not sanding this, you're just cleaning this. And the sandpaper's good because it gets all that crud and, yeah, whatever, off. I think that's pretty good. Copper fast. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the install. Alright, so this is your freeze plug here, and you want to take a little bit of this RTV, uh, it doesn't matter what color, just any color, and you don't really want to skimp on this, um, because you can always come back and wipe it off, you can't always put more on, so, um, I like to have a nice coat all the way around. And then, just wipe my finger there. And then try and hold it on like this. And it'll kind of sit in there. For me, at least, it'll just sort of sit in there. And we're going to hang it. Okay, so now it's in there. You want to take a socket that fits in there. Now, you can do it on the rim or in there, but I think I like it in there a little bit. And then, you're just going to pound in. You don't want to go too far, and one thing you want to make sure is that you're going in evenly. So this bottom's going in a little bit more than the top, so 
also want to make sure that the top gets in the same amount as everywhere else. And it's going in. It's We're starting to get it in just a little bit farther. Okay, that was a good hit and we went in. Uh, we're still a little bit out. I'm just going to go just try and I think a little bit more just around the bottom area. Alright, that looks pretty good to me. Uh, let's go ahead and take a rag to this and wipe it. So that's how you install a freeze plug. Uh, yeah, that's how you do it. Um, it should be pretty simple. Um, but one thing you should make sure is that you try and put it in there evenly so that you don't have it kind of twisted in there. That's not good. Um, yeah, that's how you install a freeze plug. Okay, if you're like me and you need a tutorial video, it's kind of annoying when there's a lot of unimportant information, just a lot of stuff that you don't need in there. Um, you know, bad jokes, all this information that's not really important um, in there. And it's just kind of annoying. Um, so that's why all of my videos are going to be straight to the point. I'll show you. I, I'll put in enough information that you understand what's going on, but I don't put all those, I don't put all the jokes and all that stuff in there. That's not, that's not how I do it. Okay.